Are you sure it is this way? Yes, yes, I've, I've been seeing it poke from the ground for my last two visits. Why didn't you excavate it? I'm not sure what it is or if it's dangerous. Ah, yes. Well, never fear, I am here. What if it's dangerous? We'll never know if we do nothing. It's... it's an awe. But it's entirely metal. No techno-organic materials whatsoever. Do you know what this means? There's likely the rest of the corpse buried here. All these years, our race has searched for answers of who we are, what we are, what this place is. This proves that at some point, life was on this nameless world. This bot walked this planet, lived his life, and expired on this planet. What must he have seen? What did he experience? I must say, your excitement is intoxicating. This is the first definitive sign of proof that we are not the first inhabitants. And I have a feeling their world was in the Uncharted Zone. If we can just get a working party to explore there, who knows what we might discover? Did we hear anything from Rob Trump about that meeting? No, they got back before he did. However, I've ordered him to tail us discreetly in case something is amiss. Can't be too careful! Hey, Big Red! Where are we heading? It won't be much further now. Why are we following him when he doesn't say, where are we going? These caves are on top of what used to be a system of tunnels, used by Autobot spy networks. Information that would have come through here would have been for myself and Rodimus only. I've heard you mentioned Rodimus earlier. Back in the lab. Rodimus Prime was my protege. Before all of this, the war used to be fought on two worlds, Earth and Cybertron. I was on Earth defending humanity from Starscream. Rodimus was tasked with holding a base on Cybertron against Shockwave until Earth was safe. They were both in the pods with you, though. The same disgusting primitives. I apologize. The same humans we fought to save from the Decepticons invaded Cybertron. They took control of Vector Sigma. It is a supercomputer for the entire planet. They were using it to try and terraform Cybertron to be more like Earth. Megatron stopped that by using it to reformat rather than completely terraform. Which led to our creation. Exactly. The process was already too far along to completely undo. So my understanding is that along with all the changes to the planet made by humans, Megatron threw in seeds for our race to adapt and evolve with these new changes. We don't know much about our creation. Hardly anything, really. Your Cybertron has only been dreamt of. My Megatron and I were the leading team of archaeologists, determined to find the answers to all historical questions buried beneath the surface. It wasn't until we made some discoveries that we learned this planet was named Cybertron. Bitbot, the cave is metal now? Perhaps we've entered a vessel. No. Around 90% of Cybertron used to be covered in metal. Nothing organic. But when do these tunnels lead, Optimus? Hope. A last hope in a case of complete catastrophe. That's bigger than the Axion! Optimus, I thought the Ark was on Earth. It is. Nearing the completion of the Ark, Elita One pressed me to come up with a backup plan in case the Ark was ever destroyed. So, I commissioned a second one to be constructed. Later, it sat here in secret. 
Rodimus knew of it being here and spent the majority of his campaign to defend Cybertron, trying to retake the entrance to the tunnels and reach this ship. So is this airborne ready? Unfortunately, no. It was never completed. But with the hidden location and heavy shielding it possesses, it should serve as a fitting base of operation. If we could bring in some of the tech from the Axelon crash site, it will serve as a fitting base. Agreed. But there is just one concern. This ship was just a frame when I last saw it. But this looks finished. Even though it was left unattended, we must recon the perimeter and the ship itself for any possible intruders. I agree. Rhinox, head back to the Axelon to start working on moving some of that tech. The rest of us will join you shortly. Cheetor, flank left. Rat Trap, flank right. Wait, Rat Trap? You just had to blow my cover, banana boy. You should show your commanding officer more respect. Yeah, yeah. He's rough around the edges, but he grows on you. So it was your bot you had spy on me and hotshot earlier. Prime, I'm... I understand, Primal. If strangers from a distant past I knew very little of arrived at the tail end of the war that I've been fighting, when our numbers are dwindling dreadfully low, I would be overly cautious as well. How did you know our numbers were low? I have been fighting a war for a very long time, Optimus. The signs are present that both you and Megatron are close to the point I feared my Megatron and I would be at. Complete extinction. Well, this is odd. What is? This is a Teletran terminal, but it has no connecting lines or built-in supports. It controls nothing. It shouldn't even be here. Teletran terminals were extremely valuable during the war, expensive to maintain or replace, and vital since they all connect to Vector Sigma servers and thus the complete database of Cybertron. And yet this one appears to be recently used. Unless... Optimus Prime requesting reactivation! Optimus Prime. It has been a very long time. Another Autobot? Hello, Maximal friend. My name is Mainframe. Living computer. Oh great, a talking computer. Not just any talking computer. Mainframe was assigned to the construction of the second transport vessel. And despite the exodus to Earth and returning war efforts here, I was never relocated. How did he know about the Maximals if he's never left? I am able to access a direct link to Vector Sigma's database from anywhere, at any time. There is lots of data stored on all of your actions, Optimus Primal. How? Before today, I've never heard of Vector Sigma. All tech on this planet circumvents its data through Vector Sigma. Your engineers created tech that piggybacked on old Decepticon tech. Therefore, you all transmit through similar signals that Vector Sigma accesses, collects, and archives, which I then read. And that's creepy. Do not fret, Rat Trap. I will not inform anyone here of your browser history. Mainframe, how are you here? And not dead. I traced Megatron's actions in Vector Sigma as they were happening. I recalled a team of Autobots here as they were heading for the launch pods as the second arc has a thick carbon lining in the walls. And then, I just transformed. Transforming... saved you? I am artificially created. The reformation energy wave did not phase me because I do not possess spark energy like you all. It did not recognize me as living. So I was unaffected. And there is a team of Autobots here. Yes. There are four Autobots. I instructed them to place themselves in stasis for their protection until I could confirm it was safe for reactivation. Seeing as you are here and not dead, it is safe to say that it is safe. Transmitting reactivation code now. Just like that, there will be more Autobots? Just like that, friend Cheetor. It will be nice to have company for a change. You've been alone the whole time. Yes, I spent my time completing the second arc. Unfortunately, I ran out of the last of my parts stock 40,000 years ago. This arc cannot fly. 
so I spent the rest of my time reading. Must have been boring. Morning already. Optimus Prime, sir. Prime. He doesn't sound too happy. Depth Charge was never a fan of mine. He had... issues with the way I was running things. Mainframe's been feeding us intel while in stasis. I'll be joining the Maximal Faction. That way I don't take orders from Prime. Perfect. We don't want you anyways. That's kind of harsh. All of these bots are physically ready for any assigned task. Oh, I see we made some new friends. That's good because I could use some help hauling equipment over. Lead the way, Rhinox. So this is what the actual art looked like? Close. Picture lots of hustling and bustling out of bots in a perpetual state of high stress. Sounds exhausting. All of bots. Maximals. We have established a new base. We have found new friends. We must become a strong, functioning team. Working together to finally end the war we began so long ago. To put an end to the Predacon's desire to conquer what the Decepticons couldn't. Today, we take the first strides on the path towards peace on Cybertron! Megatron has assigned me a number of duties which I must ask you for your assistance with. I've heard the stories of the old world. Your war. I do not want to be anywhere near your lab work. Your hesitation is logical, but fear not. I am to begin working on decoding the encryptions of the golden disk with Soundwave. What do you think is on the disk? Memoirs? Maps? I know what information is on the disk. And you refused to share this information with Megatron. It is a bill of sale. For what? A weapon that is better left lost to time. Why are you telling me this? I know you have a weak constitution for evil. You value honor. This weapon has none. And I will be working on my end to keep it from Megatron's unworthy hands. What do you expect me to do now? You could inform Megatron of my treachery. Or... You could take the disc and give it to Optimus Prime in the Maximals. And why would I do that? You ask too many questions. But the short answer is because you obviously want to. Soon. I will bring him back, and then Cybertron will be saved. 